Hi, uh, with this video, I'm going to uh, solve this equation. So, as given that theta is between 0 and 360, right? Uh, it's between 0 and 360, so means that at the 4 quadrant. So, based on the angle given, right? You know that 2 theta. So, you have to uh, modify the range such that multiply the range by 2. So, means that the 2 theta can accept uh, minimum of 0 and maximum of 720. So, since this is a negative, so you have 4 quadrant, right? You have 4 quadrant. You said add sugar to coffee. So, in this 4 quadrant, uh, all the trigonometric function here, sine, cos, tangent is positive. Uh, for here, uh, sine is positive, but cos and uh, tangent is negative, right? So, and here will be tangent positive, here cos positive, sir. So, it means that sine will be negative in this two quadrant here. So, then I know that uh, in these two quadrants, sine will be negative because of the negative here, right? So, now, then, okay, what we should do now will be, what is the basic angle, right? Uh, the basic angle. So, the basic angle here will be, for this, uh, for this trigonometric function, the basic angle here will be you taking the arc sign of the positive. Uh, using calculator, you are taking the positive of uh, arc sign of square root of three over two, right? Uh, which will give you sixty. Uh, with calculator, you know that this will be sixty. So your basic angle here will be sixty degree. Right, uh, 60 degree. So you have 60. Uh, this is your basic angle. 60 degree, 60 degree. Okay, so you have uh, in this third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So then you can list down the solution uh, for sine the two theta here. It will be uh, 180 plus with 60. 180 plus with 60, you have 240, right? Uh, so 180 plus with 60 plus with 60 you have 240 and you have 360 minus with 60 you have 300 right 300 so we don't stop here we don't stop here because we can go up to 720 all right so you then you're taking the first one you adding 360 uh, adding 360 you will have 240 plus 360 you have 600 degree followed by 300 you plus with 360 so you have 660 right 660 so if you if you take the third angle you plus with 360 it already over the limits right uh, there there is the maximum value that you can accept so now you have two data for this four value so then you have data so 120 150 300 and 330 degree all right uh, so this is the region where sine 2 theta will be negative okay you can using your calculator okay to check your answer here so very simple so you key in uh, sine uh, 2 alphabet x so in degree mode so you must make sure in degree mode so you can calculate uh, calculate the angle here so 120 so you 120 equal equal you have negative square root of 302 yes so means your uh, answer is correct so calculate 150 also you're getting a uh, negative square root of 302 so you calculate 300 uh, 300 then you equal equal you have square root of 302 so calculate 330 uh, so you still have negative square root 3 or 2 so means that uh, this will be the solution for this problem